What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Boy oh boy, I did not think I'd be making a video about this particular thing for a very long time. Uh, so, I was just sitting around minding my own business where I see a tweet go out from this person on Twitter who I follow because they do some translations and stuff like that. They get some characters early like they do data mining and stuff. Um, and this guy right here posted this picture and I, I couldn't believe it i was not expecting to see this character for actually a very long time uh i've said it multiple times on stream that i would have thought that neko and inu would have arrived a year after the uh, world clash event because that was the whole reasoning why we got to choose neko and inu as the new duel unit and i feel like it was going to come back around as like another world clash event with this guy being in the sugo fest that's what i thought was going to be happening you know like tinfoil hat theories but here we go we've got neko and inu right here and we do have his translated abilities and we are going to be going through them in this video today but big shout out to cod over on twitter who actually went ahead and uh, translated this for us in a notepad because he is actually at this event i actually asked him uh where did you get this from and he got it from this actual event i believe this guy is actually here right now so korea is currently running their three-year anniversary event and they're actually hosting a real life event as you guys can see right here and uh, they, they're just doing an event where they're revealing stuff about the game. And this is where they revealed this. Neko and Inu Dual Unit. The character that a lot of people have been asking about. And we finally have him here. So, uh, going over to their uh, actual website for their three-year anniversary on Korea. Uh, remember, we went through this not that long ago. Um, a couple weeks ago, we went, uh, went about this. And look, this is the support update. And it is going to be arriving uh, literally the same day that Global gets it. Global is going to be having a maintenance on the 22nd PST time. And then I, th I think the maintenance actually goes into the 23rd. So, it looks like the, both of us, Korea and Global version, will be receiving the support update uh, on the same time. This is what this... Uh, will be signifying so that's what I'm uh, assuming that is going to be the case uh, this is their lottery event and stuff like that uh, I don't know what this is particularly I believe this is actually talking about their real life event because it says uh, something about the 19th of May which is literally right now as of me recording this video also it says three anniversary and something is coming soon so that might be relating to their anniversary Sugo Fest, maybe going to be coming out with their Neko and Inu dual unit. Uh, also, uh, there was a link on this website. Uh, I don't remember where I clicked it. I, I clicked it somewhere and it led me to this. So yes, the Korean version of Treasure Cruise is also having the same test your luck event that Global is also having, where you choose you know, what, uh, what order you clear the islands in and you get a reward. You put your ID and stuff and they have the exact same uh, rewards as us in terms of uh, the lottery and stuff and right here again on the 19th of may uh, 2019 which is right now i checked uh the time and as of me recording right now it is uh 30 minutes past the start time of this event so i assume that this is relating to the real life event that uh, cod is currently at right now so this is pretty big news. Uh, we weren't expecting to get news on Neko and Inu. I was just assuming at this point it was going to be version 2 cut of Korean Snake Man. But after seeing this, th this is definitely thrown a curveball. We might not be getting cut of Curry and Snake Man as the next legend. It could very well be Neko and Inu Sugo Fest. Uh, that could be happening. We don't really have full confirmation. Hopefully we get more info soon. But this is crazy, yo. So let's go ahead and actually go through the abilities. Once again, shout out to COD for giving us the translated abilities. Now, I'm pretty sure these are fully translated correctly. If there are any mistranslations, I'll put it down below as a pinned comment so you guys can see. So make sure you go ahead and check that out in case if there are any changes. But let's go ahead and go through it. I've got it right here on a notepad. The captain ability of Neko and Inu Duel. You know, I'll put it up on the side so you guys can see their artwork, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Captain ability. Boost striker and cerebral characters attack ranging from 3.5 to 4 times depending on your tap timing. Also, heals 1.5 times recovery for every perfect and strength and size slots are going to be counting as beneficial to, I would imagine, uh, striker and cerebral characters. 
So looking at this right now, when I first read this, because this is automatically the dual captain, I should have probably stated that this is not like their solo captains. So their solo captains will definitely be weaker. Uh, and I assume like one will make strength matching, one will make psi matching. Uh, maybe one will be a healer and then the one that's not the healer will have like higher attack We'll have to wait and see on that once there's a data download on the Korean version and then we'll be able to get uh, more information about that uh, Artwork by the way looking absolutely phenomenal big fan of that uh, But when I first read this this is the dual captain effect right now to my knowledge Every single legend that is a dual unit when they combine are a 4.25 times attack boost This guy's only a four times boost when he's fully combined if you hit a perfect so I assume that if you hit a good or less, then you hit you get 3.5 boost, and then probably 3.75 for a great, and then four times for uh, perfect hits. But the thing is, is you have to rely on tap timing for his big boost. And I guess the reason why his multiplier maybe isn't as high is because he boosts two separate classes. That could be a thing. And also gives you two beneficial orbs. And 1.5 times recovery for every perfect. That's actually pretty significant. Uh, if we even just look at Luffy and Lord Dual Unit that came out on the anniversary on Japan... As a dual unit, they, they give you one times their recovery. This is an additional, uh, you know, it's an additional 0.5. So, you know, I think that they will be recovering a lot. I believe their recovery stat will actually be pretty sizable. As again, uh, we'll have to wait and see after we get the data download to really assume their abilities and to really get a grasp of what they're going to be doing. But I feel like the captain effect is a little lacking. I don't know. That could be just me looking at it right now. Uh, just after we see, you know, Luffy and Law, it's hard to see anything else as like appear to them because Luffy and Law are just absurd in their power levels. But again, we'll have to wait and see once they're in the game and once people start building teams with them and then we'll really get a grasp of how good they are. I will expect these guys to be able to beat like a lot of content because... Just looking at their kit, they're really good. Um, so let's continue on with this guy. Special ability says it's going to boost striker and cerebral characters color affinity by 1.75 times. And I believe that is a one turn boost. And then you also become Neko and Inu for three turns. That is awesome. And then on top of that, if you tap two perfect hits, boost striker and cerebral characters attack by 2.25 in the following turn. This special ability is actually hype, right? Because this type of special really encourages the player to use the special ability on let's say stage four of a Colosseum because that enables you to not only get a little boost with your color affinity you become the dual unit for three turns which means you can carry into the final room and then you're able to carry in a 2.25 times type boost to your entire team when you do hit those perfects the only bad thing is the only bad like negative thing I can see about this right in terms of using the special when this guy's already your captain is if there is some sort of situation where you have to stall on the final stage you won't be able to get the real full abilities of this but the way that i can see this working so so well is you have the double captains with one neko and inner and another neko and inner you use one special you get the color affinity you kill that room and then you get the type boost in the next turn and then you can use your other special which means you get a 2.25 times type boost and a 1.75 times color affinity just with your two captains. So that really frees up a lot of space on your crew. And I think just that alone makes me really want to get my hands on this character. And the fact that he boosts Striker and Cerebral, I think that's so good, right? Because Strikers really needed some sort of a boost. Compared to all of the other classes in the game right now, Strikers were definitely lacking. They needed some good firepower. Uh, I mean, on Global, we've got the Quick Whitebeard, who is still really good, don't get me wrong. But a lot of the times, if you're using Quick Whitebeard, you're more often than not going to be using the powerhouse-related teams compared to the Strikers. They're just better. But I like the fact that they are giving support to Strikers here, and he also boosts Cerebral. I am a massive fan of that as well. Another great Cerebral Captain. Uh, I guess, like, previous to this, what was the best Cerebral Captain? Like... The only ones I can really think of off the top of my head were like, you had V2 Law 6 Plus, you had Katakuri, you had Robin, V2 Rayleigh, Crocodile to an extent. So I think that this is actually a really, really nice addition to have a very powerful Cerebral Captain. And as I said before, I love the fact that, that both of the Captains give you those two boosts so that your team is free up of a lot of space. I'm a massive, massive fan of that. So that's really cool. And last thing to talk about with this character is their switching effect. So when you switch with Neko and Inu, recovers one turn of paralysis on the crew. This is the thing that I'm not too sure if I got translated correctly, because it says it, re it recovers one turn of paralysis, but then on himself, reduces all slot bind and all despair. I assume that that removes all on himself, 
but then I think the paralysis recovery is on the entire team. I could be wrong there. I hope I'm not wrong because that would be awesome. But one thing I am not a fan of is their switching ability does not guarantee them a matching orb of any sort. I think that if they just added the ability to give himself a matching orb, that would have been amazing because I think literally every other dual legend in the game gives themselves a matching orb of some kind. Like we can already have a look at like um, with Whitebeard and Marco, they give himself a recovery orb, but they make recovery beneficial. And then with Sanji and judge they give himself a tandem orb but they make tandem beneficial as a captain so in most cases when a dual unit switches they usually get a get a matching orb as a legend anyway so this is the first time we're seeing this uh, I still think it's great though because the amount of utility you get off of that is immense and the fact that their special abilities already provide such a good boost is just amazing. We don't know what their crewmate abilities are so they could be even better than this as a sub uh, but I really hope that maybe they come out with a batch and they come out with a with the batch where they have uh, crewmate effects that make like lots of orbs beneficial for your team. That would be awesome because you're really relying on sailor effects to give you more matching orbs or just other special abilities to do that. So that is the only downfall of this character is yeah, he's strong as hell, but getting matching orbs might be an issue. At least he makes strength and side beneficial as a captain. So at least you can use that to your advantage. But this is really, really big news. So that is going to be it, guys. That is the information that we have right now. As I said, if there are any translation news, I'll put them down below in the comment section as a pinned comment so you guys know that. But this is awesome. Hopefully we get a data download soon. Maybe there's going to be new characters coming out. We'll have to wait and see. Because remember when Global had their uh, anniversary Sugo Fest, we had the quick white beard where no other version of the game has that. Only the English and French versions have it right now. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see. Maybe this will only come out on Korea for a few months and then Global will get it later and Japan will get it later. We will have to wait and see. But this could mean Cutter Korean Snake Man might be delayed and we might be getting this Sugo Fest soon enough. Don't have full confirmation on that one yet, but if there is any more developments, I'll be making sure to bring you guys a video on that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you guys have, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.